Hello, <coughs> this will be a video about um, the impersonal verb um, prepi in modern Greek. Now, prepi in, um, in Greek only appears in the third person singular. That's an important thing to understand. Yeah? It can appear in different tenses. For instance, uh, tha prepi will be the future. Eprepe is the past. By the way, there is no perfective and imperfective distinction. If you remember, we said also some other very common verbs like to have, echo, to be, ime, also don't have this distinction. Prepe is one of them. But although you can have different tenses, Prepe does not uh, have different persons. It doesn't even appear in the plural. It's always third person singular. Now, it does come from an older verb, prepo, which is no longer used. It used to be used, and prepo used to have different persons. Prepo, prepis, prepi, but no, it's no longer used. So now, all you will need is this prepi. Um, this can be confusing at times, because in English, mm, you might translate this prepi with something like like a, for instance, if I say a C prepi, yeah, a C prepi, uh, in English sometimes you might translate this as you have to whatever. Really, if you want to, if you want to have an uh, equivalence in terms of how it works, it's more like must. It's more like the verb must because you say, I say I must, and so you say you must, and he must, and it never changes, yeah. This is how this verb works. It never changes. It always stays preppy. Now, let's go. This is about the form. How this verb appears. Yeah, it only appears in the third singular. It has different tenses, but it only has one person. Yeah. Now, let's look now at the different meanings. Uh, one meaning for this verb is moral obligation. So, if I say, in a Πρέπει να σέβονται τους μεγαλύτερους. Yeah? This means young people should respect older people. Now, notice that um, it's very often followed by another verb introduced with να. I could say as well, for instance, another example. Οι μαθητές πρέπει να διαβάσουν. Students should study. Or... I can also put it in the negative. Then prepi na kapnizis. You shouldn't smoke. It's bad to smoke. Something like that. Then prepi na kapnizis. Yeah. So this is about speaking about um, obligations, usually moral obligations, but not only. Not only. Uh, obligations and prohibitions as well. If I use the negative and I say, then prepi, uh, it means like, it's something that, not just that you shouldn't do, it's something that you are not allowed to do. Δεν πρέπει να καπνίζεις. Δεν πρέπει να παρκάρετε εδώ. You should not park here. Yeah? It's, not, it's not allowed to park here. You uh, then πρέπει να παραβιάζετε το νόμο. You should not break the law. Yeah, that's one case, talking about obligations and prohibitions. Now, a second meaning of πρέπει uh, is um, to talk, to give a guess, to introduce a guess. Πρέπει να είναι τρεις. It's probably three o'clock. It's probably three o'clock. Or, πρέπει να είναι Δευτέρα. It's probably Monday. It might, it's, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm saying, um, I think it's Monday, but I'm not sure. Or, πρέπει να είναι ο, ο Γιάννης. For instance, my phone rings. I look at my phone and say, uh, I see the time. And then I remember I have an appointment with Yanis and I'm late and I say, Prep Nano Yanis to telephone, no? because I know I'm late and he's waiting for me. Or um, another example, uh, uh, let's say uh, when I see my neighbor and um, she walks very slowly and she, she seems to be in pain, so I say to my friend, Πρέπει να έχει προβλήματα υγείας. She, she probably has some uh, health issues. Yeah, I'm making a guess now. Yeah. Okay, this is the second use of πρέπει. Now, a third one is when people talk about spilled milk. Yeah. 
what should have happened in the past but did not take place. Έπρεπε να μου το πεις, you should have told me. Or έπρεπε να το ξέρεις, you should have known. For instance, uh, let's say, um, two of my friends are talking, yeah, John, let's say, is talking with Peter, uh, and John asks Peter, how is your father? And Peter says, you know, my father is dead. Έπρεπε να το ξέρεις, I told you last week, my father died. Έπρεπε να το ξέρεις. In this meaning, I'm not just saying that, um, you know, I expected you to know that, but I'm also saying, you know, uh, you know, I told you, man, he's dead, like, yeah. Or let's let's have something less uh, less sad. Let's say two people are talking about basketball, and they say, you know, who won the championship in 1995? And the other says, you know, the Toxeris, Ebra Toxeris, Toxeris Olympiakos. For example, which is true, by the way, 95, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that would be introducing, um, telling somebody about what he should or shouldn't have done, yeah. Also here, uh, this is very common when you come as a guest to a place and let's say you bring some present. Now, it's very polite for the person who received the gift, who receives the gift to say, Μα δεν έπρεπε. You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have brought the present. Of course you should, but it's not. It doesn't matter. Uh, the point here is he's saying very politely that you were not obliged to bring him a present. You know, you could have come without the present. Okay, that's the idea. Again, what he's saying is that there was no obligation on your part to do that. Yeah. Now the fourth meaning would be uh, when somebody missed on something. You know. So here is not the meaning, you know, you had the obligation of doing that, like έπρεπε να μου το πεις, yeah, you should have told me that this happened, this is, this I'm talking, I'm implying the person I'm talking to had an obligation to inform me about that, whereas here, if I say the phrase I have here in number four, έπρεπε να είχες έρθει, ήταν πολύ ωραία, I'm talking about a party, and I'm telling to a friend, έπρεπε να είχες έρθει, the party was great, you should have come. I'm not saying he had an obligation of any sort to come. What I'm saying is that, you know, you missed on it. You missed on something really nice. Or every plant of this. Or for instance, two people are talking about cinema and one is saying he's talking about a movie he just watched and he says, it's great. And the other says, I, have a, I don't know about this movie. I never heard about this movie. And the other one says, every plant in HSD, every plant in Xeris. It's not about moral obligation, this one. It's more about... Um, you missed on something, you know. Okay, so that's it. These are the main uses of the word prep in Greek.